Hello friends, today we will learn about how to draw structures of glucose, fructose and ribose. Apart from that, we will see what are disaccharides, how to uh, draw structure of them and what are the important points of disaccharides. So let's see the first structure of glucose. So how to draw structure of glucose. First draw aldehyde group. Add the first carbon. Then last carbon is primary alcohol CH2H. And the third carbon 1, 2 and 3. The third carbon is having H on the right side. Remaining carbons having OH on the right side. And we have to write complementary things on the left hand side. That's how we can draw the structure of glucose. It is a Fisher formula of glucose. First is CHO, last is primary alcohol CH2OH. Then third carbon is having H on right, other are having OH on right. And we have to write complementary on the left side. So Fisher formula of glucose and from that we can draw pyranose structure of glucose. That is alpha D pyranose and uh, beta D glucopyranose. So when aldehyde react with alcohol, it will give hemiacetal. So this hemiacetal is obtained. This OH at C5 uh, position. O- minus will combine with this C+. Plus and H+, plus will go with this double bond O. And that O and H+, plus will become OH. And on the other hand, that O- minus is this. It will combine with C because carbonyl carbon is uh, having partial positive charge and this oxygen is negatively charged so that's how hemiacetal and uh, hemiacetal is prepared and this is the alpha d uh, plus glucose because oh is on the right hand side we have written oh on the right hand side how that oh is obtained this c double bond o oxygen and h of h plus of this and then this hydrogen is here other things are same in case of beta d glucose only the position at first carbon is changed oh is on left side and h is on right side and from that we can draw pyranose structures of d glucose alpha d glucopyranose and beta d glucopyranose so draw six member ring why six member ring you can see here one two three four five and six so total six uh, atoms are there in a ring so it is a six member ring one is oxygen others are carbon and uh, then we'll draw this oh is on right side so we have written oh here then again oh on the right side one more OH then H is on right side so H is written here then OH so we have written OH below so uh, everything which is on right side we have to write it below at the end it re uh, remains is CH to OH and H always write CH to OH above so that's how we can draw alpha D glucopyranose structure right side group we have to uh, draw them below and uh, left side group we have to draw them above at the end H and CH2OH remains so CH2OH will write uh, always above and H below similarly we can draw beta D glucopyranose there is no difference between alpha D and uh, beta D glucopyranose except at one carbon that is called anomeric carbon so just uh, that carbon you have to write OH above and H below you can follow the same rules H is on right side so H is below OH OH below then H then OH and at the end in between CH2OH and H always CH2OH is above so that's how we can draw structure of glucopyranose alpha and D, uh, beta D glucopyranose some highlight points are here CHO group of glucose reacts with alcoholic OH group at C5 and hemiacetal is obtained. Alpha and beta structures differ only at C1 carbon. Therefore, they are called anomers of each other. C1 is called anomeric carbon. The formula is called Haworth formula of anomers of glucopyranose. Okay, so, this six-membered ring formula is called Haworth formula of anomers of glucopyranose. 
Now similar to this, we'll draw the structure of uh, fructose and ribose. So you can see the structure of uh, ribose. See the OH groups. In ribose, five carbons are there. Glucose, there were there were six carbons. In ribose, five carbons are there. First is CHO. Last one is primary alcohol CH2OH. And the other three are OH on the right side and uh, uh, complementary HR on the left side. So similar to glucose, we'll draw the structure. Aldehyde and secondary alcohol will give hemiacetal. So this is alpha D uh, ribose. Other things uh, are similar, and it is this one is beta D ribose. On uh, what is difference between alpha and beta? OH is on right in alpha, and OH is on left in beta. And from that, now uh, the ring is of five membered. So uh, it is a furan structure of uh, we can say ribose. So five member ring, four carbons and one oxygen. Same uh, rule. OH is on right, so we will write below. OH is on right, so below. Then OH right below, and in between H and CH2H, always we will write CH2H above. Similarly, for the other uh, beta form of uh, ribose. So in beta form, only this OH. Anomeric carbon OH goes above and H below. Remaining structure is same so this uh, ribose is used in dna this beta d ribose is used in uh, sorry beta d ribose is used in rna and then uh, 2d oxy d ribose is used in dna where this oh is uh, replaced by h other things are same as beta d ribose only only thing is oh is replaced by 